Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the lives of some of the most talented actors of the 1970s who may have left us without much fanfare. Join us as we pay tribute to these remarkable individuals and celebrate their contributions to the world of entertainment. Now, let's get started. David Jansen was an American actor, born on March 27, 1931, in Nipponi, Nebraska. He rose to fame for his portrayal of Dr. Richard Kimball in the classic television series The Fugitive, 1963-1967. Jansen's compelling performance as a man wrongfully accused of his wife's murder garnered critical acclaim and made him a household name. Throughout his career, Jansen appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatility and talent as an actor. He starred in notable films such as To Hell and Back and The Green Berets, alongside his iconic role in The Fugitive. Jansen's achievements include earning a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Television Series Drama for his role in The Fugitive and receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tragically, David Jansen passed away on February 13, 1980, at the age of 48, due to a heart attack. Despite his untimely death, his contributions to entertainment continue to be remembered and celebrated by fans worldwide. Grace Kelly was an American actress and Princess of Monaco, born on November 12, 1929, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She gained fame for her roles in classic films such as High Noon, Dial M for Murder, and Rear Window. Kelly's natural elegance and talent garnered her critical acclaim and made her one of Hollywood's leading actresses during the 1950s. In 1956, Kelly retired from acting after marrying Prince Rainier III of Monaco, becoming Princess Grace. As Princess of Monaco, she dedicated herself to philanthropy and charity work, using her platform to promote the arts and culture. Grace Kelly's achievements include winning the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in The Country Girl, 1954. She also received numerous accolades for her humanitarian efforts. Tragically, Grace Kelly died on September 14, 1982, at the age of 52, due to injuries sustained in a car accident in Monaco. Her legacy as both a Hollywood icon and a beloved princess continues to be celebrated to this day. Laurence Olivier was an English actor, director, and producer, born on May 22, 1907, in Dorking, Surrey, England. He rose to prominence as one of the most revered actors of his generation known for his extraordinary talent and versatility on stage and screen. Olivier's career spanned over six decades, during which he delivered iconic performances in a wide range of roles, from Shakespearean classics to modern dramas. He earned numerous accolades throughout his career, including multiple Academy Awards, BAFTAs, and Tony Awards. Some of Olivier's most notable achievements include his acclaimed adaptations of Shakespearean plays, such as Henry V, Hamlet, and Richard III. He also served as director and producer for several successful films and stage productions. Sadly, Laurence Olivier passed away on July 11, 1989, at the age of 82, due to complications from a neuromuscular disorder. Despite his death, his legacy as one of the greatest actors in the history of cinema and theater lives on. John Gavin was an American actor and diplomat, born on April 8, 1931, in Los Angeles, California. He gained fame for his roles in numerous films during the 1950s and 1960s, earning recognition for his handsome looks and strong screen presence. Gavin's career flourished in Hollywood, with notable roles in films such as Imitation of Life, Psycho, and Spartacus. His performances garnered him critical acclaim and established him as a leading actor of his time. In addition to his acting career, Gavin served as the United States Ambassador to Mexico under President Ronald Reagan from 1981 to 1986, showcasing his diplomatic skills and dedication to public service. John Gavin passed away on February 9, 2018, at the age of 86. 
The cause of his death was complications from pneumonia. He left behind a legacy as a talented actor and esteemed diplomat, remembered fondly by fans and colleagues alike. Shelley Winters was an American actress born on August 18, 1920, in St. Louis, Missouri. She rose to fame as a versatile and talented performer, known for her ability to portray a wide range of characters on screen. Winters' career spanned over six decades, during which she appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. She earned critical acclaim and won two Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actress, for her roles in The Diary of Anne Frank, 1959, and A Patch of Blue, 1965. In addition to her acting accolades, Winters was also a dedicated activist, advocating for various causes including civil rights and women's rights. Shelley Winters passed away on January 14, 2006, at the age of 85, due to heart failure. Despite her death, her legacy as a talented actress and passionate advocate continues to be celebrated in the entertainment industry. Barry Nelson was an American actor born on April 16, 1917, in San Francisco, California. He gained recognition as one of Hollywood's early leading men and enjoyed a prolific career spanning over six decades. Nelson is best known for his role as James Bond in the 1954 television adaptation of Ian Fleming's Casino Royale, making him the first actor to portray the iconic British spy on screen. This role brought him widespread fame and solidified his place in cinematic history. Throughout his career, Nelson appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He received critical acclaim for his performances in both dramatic and comedic roles. Barry Nelson passed away on April 7, 2007, at the age of 89, in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. The cause of his death was not publicly disclosed. Despite his death, his contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be remembered and celebrated by fans and colleagues alike. Carol Lombard was an American actress born on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. She rose to fame during the golden age of Hollywood as one of its brightest stars, known for her beauty, wit, and comedic talent. Lombard's career spanned over two decades, during which she appeared in over 50 films, showcasing her versatility as an actress. She excelled in both comedic and dramatic roles, earning critical acclaim and popularity among audiences. Some of Lombard's most notable achievements include her performances in films such as My Man Godfrey, 1936, and To Be or Not to Be, 1942. She was also one of the highest paid actresses of her time. Tragically, Carol Lombard's life was cut short when she died in a plane crash on January 16, 1942, at the age of 33. The crash occurred while she was returning from a war bond tour, leaving behind a legacy as a beloved actress and a symbol of Hollywood glamour. John Cazale was an American actor born on August 12, 1935, in Revere, Massachusetts. Despite having a brief career cut short by illness, Cazale left an indelible mark on cinema as one of the most talented character actors of his generation. Cazale gained fame for his roles in the 1970s, particularly for his performances in films directed by Francis Ford Coppola and Sidney Lumet. He is best known for his roles as Fredo Corleone in The Godfather, 1972, and its sequel The Godfather Part II, 1974, as well as In The Conversation, 1974, and Dog Day Afternoon, 1975. Despite appearing in only five films, all of them were nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture, with three winning the award. This unique achievement speaks to Kazali's extraordinary talent and the impact he had on the films in which he appeared. John Kazali passed away on March 12, 1978, at the age of 42, due to lung cancer. 
His legacy as a revered actor continues to be celebrated by cinephiles worldwide. Jessica Savage was an American television journalist born on February 1, 1947, in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. She gained fame as one of the first women to anchor a national evening news broadcast in the United States. Savage began her journalism career in local news before joining NBC News in 1977 as a correspondent and anchor. She quickly rose to prominence, known for her engaging on-screen presence and hard-hitting reporting style. Despite her success, Savage faced personal struggles, including drug addiction and tumultuous relationships. However, she remained dedicated to her craft, earning numerous awards for her journalism, including several Emmy Awards. Tragically, Jessica Savage's life was cut short when she died in a car accident on October 23, 1983, at the age of 36. The accident occurred during a rainstorm in Pennsylvania, resulting in her death along with those of her boyfriend and their driver. Savage's pioneering work in broadcast journalism continues to inspire aspiring journalists to this day. Dorothy Stratton was a Canadian model and actress born on February 28, 1960, in Vancouver, British Columbia. She gained fame as Playboy magazine's Playmate of the Month for August 1979 and Playmate of the Year in 1980. Stratton's striking beauty and charismatic presence propelled her to stardom, leading to opportunities in the entertainment industry. She appeared in several films and television shows, including Galaxina, 1980, and Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Despite her promising career, Dorothy Stratton's life was tragically cut short when she was murdered on August 14, 1980, at the age of 20. Her estranged husband, Paul Snyder, shot her before taking his own life. Stratton's untimely death shocked the entertainment world and left a lasting impact on those who knew her. In addition to her achievements in modeling and acting, Stratton is remembered for her kindness, talent, and the legacy she left behind in the world of glamour and entertainment. Robert Stack was an American actor born on January 13, 1919, in Los Angeles, California. He gained fame for his roles in both film and television, but he is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Elliot Ness in the television series The Untouchables, 1959-1963, which earned him an Emmy Award for outstanding performance by an actor in a series. Stack's career spanned over six decades, during which he appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He received critical acclaim for his performances in films such as Written on the Wind, 1956, and Airplane, 1980. In addition to his acting achievements, Stack also served as the host of the documentary series Unsolved Mysteries, 1987-2002, further solidifying his place in pop culture. Robert Stack passed away on May 14, 2003, at the age of 84, due to heart failure. He left behind a legacy as a talented actor and beloved television personality, remembered fondly by fans and colleagues alike. Gene Kelly was an American actor, dancer, singer, and choreographer, born on August 23, 1912, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He rose to fame as one of the most iconic and influential figures in the history of musical films. Kelly's career spanned over six decades, during which he starred in numerous classic films, including Singin' in the Rain, 1952, An American in Paris, 1951, and On the Town, 1949. He revolutionized the genre of musical films with his innovative choreography, athleticism, and charisma on screen. Throughout his career, Kelly received multiple awards and honors, including an Academy Award for Lifetime Achievement in 1952 and a Special Tony Award in 1948. He was also recognized with a Kennedy Center honor in 1982. Gene Kelly passed away on February 2, 1996, at the age of 83, due to complications from a stroke. 
Despite his death, his contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated and cherished by audiences worldwide. Robert Conrad was an American actor and singer born on March 1, 1935, in Chicago, Illinois. He gained fame for his rugged good looks, charismatic persona, and memorable roles in television series and films. Conrad rose to prominence in the 1960s and 1970s with his starring role as James West in the popular television series The Wild Wild West, 1965-1969. His portrayal of the suave and resourceful secret agent garnered him widespread acclaim and made him a household name. Throughout his career, Conrad appeared in numerous other television shows and films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He also ventured into singing, releasing several albums and singles. Robert Conrad's achievements include multiple nominations for Golden Globe Awards and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Sadly, Robert Conrad passed away on February 8, 2020, at the age of 84, due to heart failure. His legacy as an accomplished actor and entertainer lives on in the hearts of fans worldwide. Natalie Schaefer was an American actress born on November 5, 1900, in Red Bank, New Jersey. She gained fame for her role as Mrs. Lovey Howell on the classic television sitcom Gilligan's Island, 1964-1967. Schaefer's career spanned over five decades, during which she appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. She was known for her refined demeanor and comedic timing, often portraying sophisticated and affluent characters. While Gilligan's Island brought her widespread recognition, Schaefer had already established herself as a respected actress through her work in theater and film. Natalie Schaefer's achievements include multiple nominations for Emmy Awards for her role in Gilligan's Island. Sadly, Natalie Schaefer passed away on April 10, 1991, at the age of 90, due to liver cancer. Despite her death, her portrayal of Mrs. Howell remains iconic, and her contributions to entertainment continue to be remembered and celebrated by fans of classic television. Margot Hemingway was an American fashion model and actress born on February 16, 1954, in Portland, Oregon. She gained fame in the 1970s as a successful model, gracing the covers of magazines and walking the runways of top designers. Hemingway's striking beauty and unique presence propelled her to stardom, making her one of the most recognizable faces of her generation. She also ventured into acting, appearing in films such as Lipstick, 1976, and Killer Fish, 1979. Throughout her career, Hemingway garnered attention for her achievements in both modeling and acting, earning her widespread acclaim and a devoted fan base. Tragically, Margot Hemingway passed away on July 1, 1996, at the age of 42, due to suicide by overdose. Her untimely death shocked the entertainment industry and left a lasting impact on those who knew her. Despite her struggles, Hemingway's legacy as a pioneering model and actress continues to be remembered and celebrated. Charlton Heston was an American actor and political activist born on October 4, 1923, in Evanston, Illinois. He gained fame for his powerful performances in epic films, becoming one of Hollywood's most iconic leading men. Heston's career spanned over six decades, during which he starred in numerous classic films, including The Ten Commandments, 1956, Ben-Hur, 1959, and Planet of the Apes, 1968. His commanding presence and dramatic range earned him critical acclaim and multiple awards, including an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Ben-Hur. Beyond his acting career, Heston was also a prominent political activist, advocating for civil rights and gun rights. He served as president of the National Rifle Association from 1998 to 2003. Charlton Heston passed away on April 5, 2008, at the age of 84, due to complications from pneumonia. 
His legacy as an actor and activist continues to be remembered and celebrated by fans worldwide. Janet Lee was an American actress born on July 6, 1927, in Merced, California. She rose to fame in Hollywood during the 1950s, becoming a leading lady in numerous films. Lee gained widespread recognition for her iconic role as Marion Crane in Alfred Hitchcock's thriller Psycho, 1960. Her portrayal of the character earned her critical acclaim and an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout her career, Lee appeared in over 60 films, showcasing her talent in a variety of genres, including drama, thriller, and comedy. She worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors of her time, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. Janet Lee's achievements include winning a Golden Globe Award for her performance in Psycho and receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Lee passed away on October 3, 2004, at the age of 77, due to vasculitis, a rare inflammation of the blood vessels. Despite her death, her legacy as a talented actress and Hitchcock's leading lady lives on in cinema history. James Mason was a distinguished English actor born on May 15, 1909, in Huddersfield, Yorkshire, England. He gained fame for his captivating performances in a wide range of film genres, establishing himself as one of Britain's most esteemed actors. Mason's career spanned over five decades, during which he appeared in over 150 films and television productions. He garnered critical acclaim for his ability to portray complex and nuanced characters, earning him multiple awards and nominations. Mason's breakthrough role came in the film The Man in Grey, 1943, which propelled him to international stardom. He went on to star in numerous classics, including A Star is Born, 1954, North by Northwest, 1959, and Lolita, 1962. His achievements include receiving three Academy Award nominations for Best Actor and being awarded a Golden Globe for his performance in Georgie Girl, 1966. James Mason passed away on July 27, 1984, at the age of 75, due to a heart attack. He left behind a legacy as one of cinema's most versatile and accomplished actors. Madeline Kahn was a renowned American actress and comedian born on September 29, 1942, in Boston, Massachusetts. She gained fame for her remarkable talent, distinctive voice, and impeccable comedic timing, making her one of the most beloved performers of her time. Khan's career spanned over three decades, during which she appeared in numerous films, stage productions, and television shows. She became known for her versatility, effortlessly transitioning between comedic and dramatic roles with ease. Khan's breakthrough came with her role in the film Paper Moon, 1973, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. She went on to star in acclaimed films such as Blazing Saddles, 1974, Young Frankenstein, 1974, and Clue, 1985. Her achievements include receiving two Tony Awards for her performances on Broadway and being nominated for an additional two Academy Awards. Madeline Kahn tragically passed away on December 3, 1999, at the age of 57, due to ovarian cancer. She left behind a legacy of laughter and brilliance that continues to inspire audiences worldwide. Steve McQueen, born Terence Stephen McQueen on March 24, 1930, in Beach Grove, Indiana, was an iconic American actor. He rose to fame during the 1960s and 1970s, earning a reputation as the king of cool for his rugged demeanor and charismatic on-screen presence. McQueen's career was marked by a series of iconic roles in classic films such as The Great Escape, 1963, Bullet, 1968, and The Thomas Crown Affair, 1968. He was known for his intense performances and his ability to portray complex, anti-hero characters. 
Throughout his career, McQueen received critical acclaim and numerous awards, including a Golden Globe Award for his role in The Sand Pebbles, 1966. He also became one of the highest paid actors of his time. Sadly, Steve McQueen passed away on November 7, 1980, at the age of 50, due to complications from mesothelioma, a type of cancer associated with asbestos exposure. Despite his untimely death, his legacy as a Hollywood legend continues to endure. And that wraps up a heartfelt look back at some of the 70s actors who may have slipped from our memories. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.